What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about WordPress versus Wix. We're going to figure out which one is right for you and your website needs, and we're going to put them head to head in specific rounds such as ease of use, cost, customization and flexibility, e-commerce, which is an online store, and then an overall recommendation based on your needs. So with that said, let's get this match started. First up, we've got ease of use. Undoubtedly, Wix is designed around user-friendly experience. So signing up, choosing your domain name, and even designing your website with their really visual interface is a breeze. You can drag and drop elements on your website wherever you want, and you can create a header with a menu in it in just a few simple clicks, or even set up a contact form without having much or any web design experience at all. So if you'd like to check out Wix for yourself, just click on the link in the description that I listed below. So next up, we've got WordPress. So WordPress, on the other hand, takes a little bit of a learning curve to get used to. You can install it with just one simple click through your hosting provider, but there's not really a walkthrough to get you set up in the beginning. But if you subscribe to my channel, I post tons of awesome step-by-step -step tutorials for creating awesome websites for pretty much anything that you need. So I highly recommend doing that. With a simple tutorial, WordPress is actually not very daunting at all. But we're gonna give this round to Wix because nothing beats that user interface. It is geared towards beginners. KO. Okay, what's next? Next up, we've got cost. So I'm gonna be comparing the cost of both Wix and WordPress based on if you were to sign up for one year of their cheapest plan. And the reason I choose one year is because no matter which one you use, you have to buy a domain name for 12 months. So you might as well get your design platform for 12 months as well. And another reason is because if you pay month to month, your price will be a little bit higher than if you were to do it annually. And that's for both Wix and WordPress. So first up is Wix. So the cheapest plan that Wix has to offer if you commit to an entire year is about $11 a month, which comes out to about $132 a year. So that easy setup and design will come with a little bit of a cost. Now, WordPress, on the other hand, is technically free, but in order to install and use it, you have to sign up for web hosting. And if you're not sure what web hosting is, I have a whole video on that where I explain it with visual examples and it's super easy to understand. So I will link that in the description as well. Anyway, I use HostGator.com for my hosting, and I even worked out a special discount code for all of my viewers here at Creator Pro website where you can get hosting for a huge discount. So for one year of using WordPress with a paid hosting plan is going to come out to about $78 a year. And even if you chose to do a month to month payment plan, it's still actually cheaper than Wix. So WordPress definitely wins this round for being the most affordable. Knockout. Next, we've got customization and flexibility. So whenever you make a website with Wix, you generally start with a template and they've got about 300 different templates to choose from. And once you choose one, then you can start changing your images, changing your buttons and button colors, changing fonts and font colors. And you can pretty much do everything as far as design goes. And it has hundreds of different plugins inside the Wix app market that allow you to increase the functionality on your website with helpful tools and apps. But the selection of plugins with Wix is actually nothing compared to what WordPress has to offer. So WordPress actually is virtually endless as far as customization and flexibility goes. It has over 1,000 different free themes, some of which you can even use as a drag and drop builder, much like Wix. And there's over about 10,000 different paid themes that you can use for around $40 to $60 a piece and these allow you to have 110% control over customization and flexibility. So that means changing images and buttons and text and everything that I mentioned previously with Wix. But you also have over 29,000 different free plugins with WordPress that allow you to increase the functionality. So you can create an online store, you can show off your Instagram feed on your website, you can create a contact form, and I have tutorials for all those things on my channel if you're interested. So without a shadow of a doubt, WordPress is the clear winner for this round too. Next up, we've got e-commerce. And if you don't know what e-commerce is, it's basically just turning your website into an online store. Wix does have e-commerce capabilities, but it's mainly built for small business owners that are looking to start a small shop and start making money as quickly as possible. 
It has tax and shipping capabilities. It has the ability to do virtual products and you can even track your sales. But it's not as robust for those of you that want to move product in high volumes or do different shipping methods and currencies, etc. WordPress, on the other hand, is much more powerful for supporting pretty much any e-commerce site that you want to make. It has a very popular plugin called WooCommerce, and this allows you to create all of your products, create virtual products, create different payment methods such as PayPal, Stripe, USPS, etc. You can even create coupons, special offers, and more. So once again, WordPress takes this round. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. My overall recommendation. So as far as Wix goes, I recommend this for anyone that just wants to focus on design and nothing else. Because Wix is perfect for beginners to create awesome looking websites in no time at all. So this is anyone that needs a CV, resume, or portfolio website, maybe you're a freelancer, anything like that, Wix is perfect. And Wix also offers 24-7 support, so if you need anything done, you can always contact Wix and they'll help you out right away. But I have to say that WordPress is my number one recommendation, because the options are just limitless with WordPress, with all the themes, the plugins, and there's so many tutorials out there, most of which you should check out on this channel, because they're all step-by-step -step and so easy to use. But WordPress allows you to do anything from creating stores that bring in hundreds of thousand dollars a month, to creating that portfolio website that you want, photography websites, literally anything that you can think of, you can do with WordPress. And as long as you get through a basic tutorial of WordPress's interface, it's actually pretty easy to use and it's the most affordable option. Okay guys, so I hope this helped to explain Wix versus WordPress. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button or if you want more awesome tips, tricks, tutorials, step-by-step -step guides, please smash that subscribe button on my channel. You won't be sorry. And rumor has it, for every new subscriber I get, a baby turtle finds his new bubble buddy. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next video.